Of course, I just, in my key yes. lecture, uh, already spoke about this schizophrenic split that I'm in, um, in the museum, like being, of trying to program um, as much agile, transient, uh, transparent art, uh, urgent art as possible, and, uh, and not being bothered in a way by documenting and, and archiving that. And on the other hand, mining the archive, working with the archive, and, and putting that in the white cube, by, in that sense, also attacking the white cube model that is so dominant in our field today. So really bringing the discursive in. So in a way, that for me, they're two sides of the same coin because they're both, for me, they really are two examples of the discursive turn in the museum, that it's not only an exhibition machine anymore, but that it's, that it's about dialogue, about history, the now, the future, but always reflexive, self-critical, and very reflexive. Um, interestingly enough, our um, archive, the exhibition archive, um, as I mentioned briefly in the, in the keynote, um, has been digitized because we had to get rid of it. Uh, because we were privatized in 2006, and the law in the Netherlands is that then you have to give your archive to the city or to the, yeah, so it's be, it remains open to the audience. Um, so therefore we start to digitize the entire archive and now the sort of physical archive is in the city archive of Amsterdam and we only have a digital copy. And but everybody looks uh, into our digital copy because you get very good help of professionals that know the history very well. Whereas if you are to went to the city archive and you uh, and you can also even search online, um, it's very difficult to make sense out of it. So the stories, the place, it matters. The context is really key for this 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 um, institutional history. 